basically in the same conversation. We want to know about your life, but we don't want to know about your life. You can have a relationship with somebody without knowing about their life. And I'm like, I can't. That means I don't know the person. Like, they're saying this, like, in the same conversation. Like, agree with me, but it's hard to have a relationship with somebody when you don't know them. When you, when they, when you don't know anything about their life. But they're like, yeah, we don't have to talk about your life. <laughs> I'm like... Why do you even want to be my parents? Yeah, and they're calling me. They're like, they were like, you know, life's not all about you. And I was like, it literally is. I did say that. They literally said this to me. They were like, okay, so like, they were like, life's not all about you. You know, you got to care about other people. And I was like, because they, they, like, that was the implication that I didn't care about other people because I'm making this decision for myself to protect me from them. You know? And I'm sitting there going, they're, they're like, you know, life's not all about you. I'm like, it literally is all about it. My life literally is all about me. I'm li I'm in this, I'm living it. How is it? You know, that's the whole Christian mentality, right? That like, guess what? Because the entire thing is from your perspective. It is all about you. Okay. That doesn't mean that you're selfish the time. I've lived most of my life being very selfless, as a matter of fact. That's why I got into the situation that I did, because I cared too much about what other people thought. They want your life to be about them. I mean, precisely. That's really what it sums it up. That's what it sums it up as, like... And they're like, our door is always open. And then they were like, but you can't... And But they were like, but you can't do this to us. And I was like, I literally can, because you just said your door is always open. So it doesn't really change, like, what I do doesn't change anything that you do. Yeah, I do have Libra placements. They were angry on that conversation that I thought they would be. Like, they seem more irritated than anything the whole time. Narcissists want people to suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. I mean, you don't bend, they get passive-aggressive. Mm. Literally. Like, they, we just want you to do whatever we want. In the way that we want you to do it. And I, we haven't made any decisions for you. And I'm like, you've strongly influenced a lot of my decisions in the past. Literally just by the way that you raised me. And it's like, I literally sat, I told them, I said, I cannot explain most of this shit to you because you are not in a state of mind. You are not in a, in a mental position to absorb all of it. So, like, me, I'm just giving you a little piece of it by telling you what the fuck happened with my divorce. So. I don't know. I'm like, and they're like, well, like, there are, the way they conduct the conversation, you know, is like, everything they say back to me is like, okay, yeah, you, you are exactly as elevated, as self-aware as I thought you were, and therefore I cannot even explain, I literally can't explain to you the damage that you did. It's impo it would be impossible. No, they're, they're literally not rational. And they're like, we love you. And I'm like, you don't. Like, you're the whole reason I didn't know what love was. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, we don't, we don't control your decisions. I'm like, 
But the way that you treat me because of my decisions, the way that you don't, like, want to accept certain things about me, they show you everything. Those aren't the things that align with you and then blame you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they blame... They just wanted to blame me, like, which is, it's just funny to me. They're, they, like, blame me for the whole situation about, um, you know, blocking them. And it's like, yeah, I did decide to block you, but why did I decide to block you? They're like, yeah, it's your fault you're estranged. And I'm like, I mean, I guess. I have no, I have no problem with that. But why did I decide to estrange myself, you know? Because you don't. You know, they're like, you can accept, you can accept someone and, and disagree with them. And I'm like, you disagree with my existence, you know, how I, how I conduct my, and I can't even tell you about it. I'm like, I can't tell you about it because of the way you respond to it when I do tell you about it, you alienate me by, by the way you respond to me telling you about my life. And they did that in this very conversation. When I told them about my divorce. And they're like, why don't you want a relationship with us? And then I proceed to tell them about my life, trying to have a relationship with them. And then they're like, what What does that have to do with us? What do you mean why don't I want to have a relationship with you? You just showed me why I don't want to have a relationship with you. You don't want to understand me? They said they, uh, we just, our lives, we want to keep them like simple, you know? We're just kind of simple. I'm just simple. I'm shallow. And I'm like, I'm not. But let me keep it simple for you right now. You just told me, you just showed me why I don't want to have a relationship with you. Because everything that I do and say literally in this conversation has to be about you. You just said it. You just asked me, what does this have to do with us? Like, before they even asked the question, they answered it themselves. I'm like... No, they don't vibe with my strength. Thank you for pointing that out. That's absolutely accurate. They're like powerful, independent woman who can make decisions without asking other people for herself, for her own good. Because guess what? If you can't make decisions that are good for you, you can't help anybody. You can't, you can't be selfless. You'll be damaging 